Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry will face new challenges in the U.S. as they put down roots. On May 19, 2018, Meghan Markle's life forever changed when she married Britain's Prince Harry and became the Duchess of Sussex. But the former American actress didn't exactly get a fairy tale after saying, I do. After ruthless tabloid scrutiny, public family drama, and lingering rumors of royal rifts, her husband stunned the world on January 8 of this year when the couple announced they were stepping back as senior members of the firm. Currently, the pair are residing in the Suits Star's native Los Angeles with their son Archie. And as the couple celebrates their second wedding anniversary, experts believe one thing is certain. A new life in America is a positive move for two royals who aren't afraid to challenge tradition. Royal historian and blogger Marlene Koenig said, At some point, they will put down roots, but being in quarantine does put a damper on the plans they may have been ready to announce regarding their new nonprofit, Arkawell and other projects, she continued. Within the limitations of the pandemic, they have continued to keep in touch with their patronages, as well do a bit of volunteer work in Los Angeles. For Harry, this is a new world. Yes, they had security, but the trappings of royal life were left in the UK, so for Harry, now sheltered in a very nice house, will soon, once quarantine is lifted, find a whole world outside the front door. They appear to be thriving, but I also suspect that they are chafing at the bit and want to get started on whatever projects they are considering. Royal author Leslie Carroll, who detailed the couple's courtship in her book American Princess, the love story of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, she suspects their relationship will only flourish in America, a place far away from British tabloids that provides them the freedom to pursue life on their terms. She explained, Harry and Meghan are a perfect match. Both attended progressive private schools. Both were raised by warm, compassionate, affectionate mothers who deeply felt that it was imperative to teach their children that some people may have less than you do, but they are not less than you are. Both Doria Ragland and Princess Diana took their children to food kitchens and homeless shelters so their offspring could put a face to the hungry and needy to understand they were people, not numbers. Both Meghan and Harry learned before they were teenagers to give back, generously, freely, openly. When Meghan became engaged to Harry, the TV star seemed to charm everyone she met. She and Harry toured Britain to adoring crowds, and the press praised her as a welcoming breath of fresh air. But soon after, Markle learned that life in the royal fishbowl was far from glamorous. Meghan's strained relationship with her father, former Hollywood lighting director Thomas Markle, played out in the nation's tabloids. She was also faced with allegations of allegedly feuding with Harry's sister, in law, Duchess of Cambridge Kate Middleton. Then there was Samantha Markle, her estranged half, sister who has openly criticized her. A royal feud between Harry and older brother, Prince William, became the talk of the town. Throughout the marriage, Markle was criticized for everything from eating avocados to cradling her baby bump when she was pregnant with Archie. When the couple finally announced, they yearned for financial and perhaps personal independence, Queen Elizabeth reluctantly agreed to let them become semi detached royals to avoid a family split. Carol said, Everything they do, they do together. They always have each other's backs, literally. Meghan was called out by the British press for often placing her hand on Harry's back during royal walkabouts during their early appearances as a couple. She knew he disliked these appearances. Her gesture was one of reassurance. She was right there for him, and yet, she was vilified in the tabloids for being a handsy American, ignorant of royal protocol. But Meghan gets her man. 
She understands Harry's trauma with regard to the press and paparazzi. While America will provide a fresh start for Marco and Harry, Carol warned that the pair will be faced with new challenges. She explained, As much as Harry has always enjoyed America as a visitor, it will be a challenge for him to live in the States permanently if that becomes the Sussex's decision. It's still early days. So we'll see how things eventually end up. Challenges facing the couple will be Harry's inevitable homesicknesses for his family back in the UK and the equally inevitable issues of finances and taxes. No couple, whoever they are, likes those discussions. But what Meghan and Harry seem to have going for them is a healthy ability to communicate, which experts say is the most important thing for a healthy marriage. Still, Carol believes the couple will finally have a happily ever after as they embark on a new life in the States and pursue the roles they are truly passionate about. She said, Apart from, or in addition to, the obvious mutual physical attraction, they want the same things, to make the world a better place for humanity, especially women and children. They want to be able to use their voices and the platform that their place in society afforded them to amplify their message and enlarge their visions. As a boy, Harry had been unable to protect his mother from the tabloids. This time, the prince vowed not to permit history to repeat itself. He has kept his word. Another analysis. Who are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's inner circle of friends in Los Angeles? After stepping down as senior royals on March 31st, Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, made the move to Los Angeles. Meghan is from the area and has family there, but royal fans have been wondering which celebrities the Duke and former actress are tight with in Tinseltown. Find out who the Sussexes live near and who's in their inner circle of friends. Tyler Perry In May, it was reported that Harry and Meghan were staying at the Beverly Hills home of actor and producer Tyler Perry. The eight-bedroom, 12-bathroom Beverly Ridge estate sits atop a hill on 22 acres of land. In news raised questions about the Duke and Duchess friendship with Perry. The Medea star previously commented he felt for Markle after she opened up about the difficulties of dealing with royal life in the documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. James Corden There have been reports that Prince Harry is missing some of his friends back in the UK and communicates with them often via WhatsApp. We now know that he doesn't live far from fellow British James Corden. The late late show host and Harry have been friends for some time as Corden scored an invite to the royal wedding and private reception that followed. Corden lives stateside full-time in the Brentwood section of Los Angeles County, which is just a few minutes away from Beverly Hills. Adele Another British residing in the Sussex's neighborhood is Adele. The songstress lives a few minutes away from the couple and has been giving them pointers about their new neighborhood. A source said, Adele's just five minutes from Harry and Meghan, and they've swapped notes on the area. Adele loves the neighborhood. She's also recommended her son Angelo's preschool and discreet places to take Archie where they won't be bombarded by fans. Serena Williams One of Meghan's closest friends, Serena Williams, is definitely part of the duo's inner circle as well. The women met in 2010, at a Super Bowl charity challenge and appeared at the event together again in 2014. Over the years they formed a close friendship and Williams and her husband, Alexis Ohanian, were guests at the former Suit Star's wedding. The tennis pro is someone Meghan had gone to for advice about how to deal with all the media attention when she first started dinking Prince Harry. Williams and Ohanian have a home in Florida but also a residence in Beverly Hills. It is in the same dated... So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening.
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Stop.